Hey there! Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Old School. As you can see here, we are still in Draenor Village, where our last quest, X marks the spot, led us over to this pig pen over here where the two quest markers are, right to the top of the market there. First thing I want to show you is the bank right here. I wanted to show you guys. See, I showed how you can make separate tabs for your bank. Down in the bottom right hand corner here, where it shows the little, uh, the kind of person symbol, you can press that and then, boom, you dump all of your equipment inside the bank in that tab. So, what I wanted to do here is I wanted to grab this fishing net here. As you can see, we have a fishing spot right over here. So we are going to go and small net some shrimp. Oh, oh. <laughs> please stop, please stop. <laughs> and get blasted in the face by... Dark wizard? Yep, dark wizards. Pretty low level, but to a low level like us, magic is really dangerous. So, like a 97% safe spot to come and net some shrimp and if you see back there behind what was the bank this building here we have us a never ending fire this guy right here is like a fire keeper from dark souls he's just keeping that flame burning so this is actually a really good place to come and cook your shrimp and then bank what's good dump your burnt stuff and then run back here you don't have to make your own fire you don't have to chop your own wood and just really sit here and grind out some pretty easy fishing levels and cooking. Uh, you lose out on the fire making and the wood cutting XP, but there's faster ways to go about that anyway. And we have a lot of time on our hands. <laughs> no shortage of things to do around here. don't want to say that name on here. Person has a, I think, I believe that little amulet there is an amulet of glory. And that offers you like teleportation and like some pretty basic stats, I think. But it's the teleportation that gets you the, the most out of it, I believe. It's been a long time since I've played one of those. Or used one of those? Since I've played and used one of those. I have no idea what they're for now. We have reached level 5 and can now fish for sardines. Uh, get going. So far, this is exactly what I want it to be. I want it to be a nice, calming experience for anybody to watch. It's definitely calming for me. Uh, there may be times when I log in just to, you know, do some simple grinding things like this. Just to, you know, if I were to do anything different, I would obviously want to make a recording and show you guys what I'm doing and what I'm going about. Oh, and see, this is one reason why I'm kind of afraid to not be recording certain things. Because now we're going to talk to Evil Bob. Evil Bob says, Hey Black Waltz, kid. Come with me if you like fishing. Or has the amulet... Yeah, has the amulet of human speak broken again. 
<laughs> yes, it seems like a great idea. Huh? Where am I? On my island. <laughs> Evil Bob. Take me to your leader. I am your leader, but you are but a slave. I am not a slave, I am a free man. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> He's loving Evil Bob, and look at his amulet of human speak. You can't see it on his little avatar, but right here in the corner, it actually looks like a human. <laughs> it's so weird. Well, come on, Bob, tell me what we're doing here. Let me out of here. I will never let you go, Black Waltz. <laughs> just basic right down to it, just why not? Um, because I say so, because I can never have enough servants. Now catch me some fish, I am hungry. What fish? Where? Talk to my other servants, hurry it up. I need help, I've been kidnapped by an evil cat. Meow, or I, I can't, can't help you, or kill us all. But he told me to talk to you. Now you listen to me, he is just a little cat. There must be something I can do. <laughs> fish, give, give him fish. And he might fall asleep. That fishing spot contains the fish he likes. Just across from that thing. Oh, I guess there's different kinds of statues and stuff. Pretty cool. What kind of fish can I get out of here? And it's already cooked. Oh man, can I get like multiple of these? Does it have a value? Nope, just looks disgusting. I already have one. Man. Okay. I thought I was gonna get to kinda of like get some unique stuff. Ooh, no, don't do that. I just wanted to use. Yeah, be very careful. On things that you can actually eat yourself, you can just click on. But if you want to use it, you want to make sure you hold on to it. Uncook it first. <laughs> you heard me, there's a cold fire by the trees. Now get to uncooking. You got it, man. This <laughs> is so cool. Delicious. Now it's going to take a little cat nap, and I assume that means we're out of here? <laughs> that was the strangest dream I've ever had, assuming it was a dream. And now I'm better at fishing. Oh wow, level 9. I gained like 4 levels right there, that was great. Huzzah. <laughs> Well, that was pretty cool. Glad you guys got to see that and experience it with me. Ah! Rob! <laughs> Go away, Black Wizard. No, don't walk further down here. Go away. Just slowly walk. He's slowly walking. You slowly walk. And just slowly walk over here to try and fish. Under the radar. Incognito. I do not recall this being an issue here. <laughs> yeah, okay, we gotta go. Now we can run out of here. Run, 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 run. Oh, get to a safe space. Go before you die. I don't have any of my cooked shrimp. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's a jailer. Drainer is terrible. I guess in a lot of my other playthroughs, I just don't leave. Lumbridge or Valador of Aeroc for quite some time. Who would have thought Draenor was such a deadly place? <laughs> um, but yes, as I was saying, as this goes on, I'm sure eventually people will get tired of watching me just kind of do the same repetitive stuff. Kind of like in my sounds of OSRS, because, you know, that was kind of the point of that series. This one I kind of would like to be more along of a Let's play and, you know, make some content that could actually hold some discussion and maybe show some new things. 
So I might do some of the grindy stuff off off camera. And then there also probably be something where I do, because, you know, I want to keep making sure I'm putting videos up. Again, this was a really great idea until the black wizards showed up. Dark wizard, black wizard, dark wizard. I can make a red berry pot. Keep note of that. some shrimps and I guess I'm gonna go get my combat level up so that way I can actually keep doing this all right so we're gonna bank the fish bank the net I'm gonna take some shrimp with me let me go ahead and get my gear back So we're going to go this way, we're going to shoot up north, down to the northwest here, into Falador. Right outside of Falador here, it's a pretty common place for some imps to spawn. So I think for the remainder of the time here, I'm just going to try and whack on some imps. See if we can get some beads. And if we get any more red ones, where? <laughs> I should like I really shouldn't even get beads that close together let alone a multiple set like ugh. if you're gonna give me a bead just give me one of a different type like let's get this quest moving there's a captain talk here is that a member's quest There's a poor young lad spot of something. What kind of help do you need? It's about my crew. They be a lazy bunch at times, but they be stout in the heart and strong in the arm. And they don't deserve what's happened to them. It be a curse. A curse has been laid upon my crew. That's the only thing it can be. Will you help me? Uh, recommended to have a level 20. Oh, this is the Closier. Closier's Curse. Oh, oh no. That's not going to make me go right now, are you? <laughs> I have a ship moored west of Brimington. Come and meet me on board and we'll set to the Corsair Cove. Okay, meet you there. So not like right now. Okay, cool. I just want to... Captain Swagger's off. Great. I would love to do that later. That scared me, guys. I thought we were about to dip out to a whole nother... to a quest. One for a combat level 20. I'm a combat level 5. Like, that would not be enjoyable for anybody. Oh, wait, highway man. Is this going to be a playthrough where everything I say doesn't come true, because there should be imps here. Oh, I saw a little yellow speck back here. Oh, wait, there's one. A chapel. Oh, I can move to the, the slash now. Got my attack up to level 5. Work on that strength and start hitting a little harder. And as you can see, as you move around and locate new areas, you unlock different musics. I feel like there's normally more 
spawn here. Sorry about the random pop-ups, emails really is what they are, if you see those. Again, I record everything on my phone. It's the only capability I have of recording anything. Along with the, uh, the quality of my voice here. Drop audio, voice audio, let's go with that. I actually did just order a new mic on Amazon, I suppose, to be able to just plug into an iPhone. So I'm really excited to see how that'll work. It looks like the mic works great, but now I'm worried about the audio on the game. Because obviously me doing a screen recording, it takes that audio and puts it into the game. But how will it do with the microphone on it? Because right now I'm using the standard just Bluetooth earbuds. So it makes sense that this has audio. And I am honestly technologically challenged. I'm not somebody you want if you have any sort of computer or technological problem. You do not want to call me. Man, you went far away. Any more hammers? Oh, and also this uh, this guy who I watch on YouTube again. I watched him. He made a video like a month ago that stated, uh, "Watch me turn one gold into like eighty nine gold." He literally took one gold. Bought a hammer from a general store, turn around and sell that hammer to the general exchange where people were buying hammers for like 249 gold. <laughs> hey, that's what, yeah, like 200 gold, something like that. I thought that was just hilarious. Like, what a great video. As you see up there in the uh, top right hand corner, that's another uh, mysterious room that will take you to an altar for room crafting.
You impish little imp. Ooh, yellow bead. I should be making some really great progress on this quest. Ah, <laughs> as I speak. No, no, he is right there. Get him. Is, is there two? I don't believe there's two. Might be two. Just rolling along in the level. One reason I am excited for the new microphone, if you can't tell, I talk quite softly. Whenever I get to record, it's uh, usually my wife and my kids are down for a nap or, in this case, bedtime, and I'm just a room over, so I try to keep everything with a nice dull roar. And plus, it's RuneScape. There's plenty to get hype about, but it's uh, not in these early stages. Not exactly a uh, World of Warcraft raid or anything, you know. Not playing for stakes like any of the, uh, the hardcore WoW players. Which really became about the only content I would watch for the game. Like, I had no interest in hardly any of it. Until people really started picking up on the hardcore aspect of it. And now that there are hardcore WoW servers, really enjoy that kind of content. A white bead. No way. Look at the beads we're getting. I only need one more, right? Should be black. Yep, the red bead's in my bank. I just need one black bead. This is fantastic. Oh, but as I was saying, yeah, I never been a Warcraft player, but I did love watching a lot of the content. Mainly, like, challenge runs, like, that's honestly how. I don't play a lot of games, I'm not even good at games, but once I started seeing challenge runs, like, I really enjoyed playing that way. Like, after playing Legendary Skyrim, it's really hard to go back. After doing a Iron Man RuneScape account, it seems really hard to go back and to the easiness of being able to play the economy inside the game to get what I need. Pokemon, doing uh, Nuzlocke challenges. Like, that's like the only way I'll play a Pokemon game anymore. And I've never beat a Nuzlocke challenge. I'm not even good at Legendary Skyrim, but it's just so fun. After, like, starting to succeed a little bit in that, it seems just so hard to take that step backwards. <laughs> And then there's just Dark Souls as a whole, which I've only played remastered because, again, almost everything I play is on Switch. A red bead. Are you kidding? <laughs> Maybe now that I hold the red bead, the game knows now the only thing I need is black, and it'll give me a black bead. But yes, I have the Dark Souls remastered and can't even get past Sin's Fortress, but I just I love that game. Watch plenty of content about uh, Dark Souls as well, too, though. Watch many of people play Elden Ring and some of the later. Uh, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. Come on, let's see if I can get this black bead before bed. And one thing that drives me nuts too is I forgot to. A, a duplicate yellow bead. This is honestly the most beads I have. Ugh. I don't think I've ever gotten this many beads so close together in one sitting. Like, this is insane. And to get two duplicates of beads.
Ooh, a cadaver berry. Need that. We'll be needing that for a later quest down the road. Way back in the day, these imps really just kind of looked like children, or like little people or something. Because like their face was kind of more like just like a white skin tone. And so it was really odd, because it looked like they were just like wearing pajamas, like something out of where the wild things are. Needless to say, the way they look now is an improvement. I don't have one, so yes, <laughs> we are taking one. Let's see, look, now I'm murdering imps with the chef's hat. Why? Who knows? But I can. Did he have to run so far away? Like, ah. It's really not even that far. Like, honestly, it's just the fact that there's a wall in between us. It's so maddening. Oh, don't waste my run, just get back over here. It's like so many or so much of what I wanted to do here has gone worse than I expected, but also better than I expected. That works. <laughs> there you go. Quick bad record. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Gotcha. And once I get that strength to level 10, then it's nice and even, sounds good. Maybe start hitting for around like 3 when I get that level 10. I'll start training the defense and attack. Get them up. Excuse me. Black bead, black bead. A another red bead. That is three red beads. That can be kind of maddening, like... Of course I don't mind someone else is having to do this quest and needs to kill imps, obviously. But it's just, it stinks like when you're on like such a good roll or they're few and hard to come between. It's like what? <laughs> but again, yeah, good luck to him. Very smart man, because as you saw, he was using ranged, ranged on these, ranged attacks on these imps. 
be uh, quite useful and effective. Doesn't spend so much time chasing them down. Like so. He went all the way to the castle. He went all the way to the castle in Falador. Are there any more imps? Out? There's one right here. I'm just gonna go for this one. Let we'll the one in the castle just be there. Not worried about him right now. If this one goes to the castle, we butcher everything inside that castle. Not really. The guards in there, I think, are like a level 20 still. That's what I would like to do. It does vary. I feel like I might need two of those. Well, on that note, we're gonna run inside the castle. We're gonna find that imp. Hopefully he's still in there. Oh, so if you saw the, the dialogue over there. Party room. That's still a thing, I guess. It's way over... This one. Party room. Literally says party room. Right there. That's where they used to do, like, drops and everything and go in there. Big thing everyone used to go for was, like, party hats, but they would always have, like, some pretty cool drop loot, depending on the time of day and probably the people who turn out. I don't know if they had to be funded by anyone. Like, if anyone had to just, like, take their valuables and be like, let's give these to the lower level people. I don't know if that was the thing. So if they still do that, that's pretty cool. all the guards talk about it too. This will be the last imp. This is a gamble. I'm feeling lucky. We're gonna get us one more imp to hopefully collect us a black bead. This is it. Must be the one that I had found before. No wonder he wasn't in the castle. That is so worth the walk back. I was going to be quite upset about that. Oh, he's over there. Ah. Oh. He's got to have the black beak. You know that? Like, I mean, that just has to be the case. I can't even get over there, too. He teleported again somewhere. Don't know where, but he teleported. Maybe that's him there. At this point, I'm hoping it's a whole new one, because if it is the exact same one, and he does not have my bead, I'm gonna be even more so. Oh, but what if that one? What if it's that one? I said I was gonna do one more. I might have to do one more after this one. And then see, this is this is RuneScape. This is how it gets you hooked right here. You'll be doing something. It's like, you know what? Just one more. Just one. And you're like, oh, holy crap. I've put hours more into them. In the one sitting. Where I said just one more. You know, just one more inventory of logs. That's how it starts out. Just one more imp to try and get my beat. Ah, after some, that epic rundown, you got stuff. Point. A ball of wool. Ugh. <laughs> this has to be the one I attacked before, right? Like, this has to be the guy. Nope. He's a fresh one. That other one may have, like, despawned, maybe, or I don't know if they regen.
as you can see, sometimes the uh, AI of your own avatar tell the new stuff. He kind of gets led to his own device. He uh, goes all over the place. Okay, one more. Promise. Swear. This is it. Last one. It's just I haven't like I have to be close, right? On this many and this many beats, I have to be. I have to get a black one, right? Going to keep that little catharsis to myself. That was a hard one to swallow because he happened to teleport. And just two more hits. Just one more. That's all I need now. Yep. Black bead, black bead, black bead. Hmm. Bronze bolt. And yes, I see there's one right there. But you know what? This time I said I promise. I said one more. Just one. He was laughing at me and mocking me too. <laughs> oh, I had to grab a screenshot of that one. I'm sorry, guys. I hope I didn't, like, see someone out. But y'all see the way he ran up behind me and laughed at me. And <laughs> I just little imp. I'm still not going to do it. Because I'm a better person. Next time, we get a black dude. There'll be no mercy on these little imps. <laughs> I hope the rest of y'all have a great week. Probably, uh, I don't know. Hopefully it won't be a whole... Till, till next weekend, when I can record again. But I hope y'all have a great week. And see you next time. Bye-bye.